Hey guys, it's Casey, and this is going to be a video on my January favorites. And I almost wasn't going to do a favorites video because I haven't really been doing them lately, but then I decided I wanted to. So I'm going to. And these are just going to be beauty favorites, and I'm going to try to go through them as quickly as possible, just because there aren't really a lot of things that I really changed about what I was liking. So I'm just going to go through kind of basic rundown of what my favorites were. Sorry I haven't been here in a while. I've been really busy with school and gymnastics, so I'm just mainly focusing on that. I'm sorry if that upsets you, but school comes first. Um, that's just the way that it has to be. So, yeah. Um, let's get to it. Okay, so starting off with the eye stuff, because that's what I have the most of. I have two cream eyeshadows, which is weird because I don't usually like cream eyeshadows, but this month I was liking them. Okay, so the first one is a MAC paint pot and this is in painterly and it's just a nude color um I like this as a base for my cream eyeshadows to wear I use my primer potion this and then a paint pot or a cream eyeshadow and then my eyeshadow just because I find this balances out the colors and then the other stuff makes the colors stay and so I really like this one a lot and that is painterly by MAC the next one is steel as smudge pot and kitten and it is this gorgeous champagne color. It looks like this swatched. It's just a really pretty champagne color that's perfect for all over the lid or a great base to wear under your eyeshadows. Okay, and the next thing I'm super duper excited about because I finally found like a mascara routine that I really like a lot. And so I'll be doing a review on these. So I just kind of want to let you guys know about them before that so you guys can get excited. And three of them are from Sephora, so they are more expensive, and I don't know if I'm going to be buying, like, the full size of them. I want to, but I don't know if I can handle buying three expensive mascaras. And then the other one is from the drugstore, which I'm super duper excited about. And the first one is Blink Mascara, and it looks like this. And in the tube, it, like, comes off, and then you unscrew it and you have your wand. I curl my lashes and then I do this one and I just use this as a base and this is a mascara that tubes your lashes instead of painting them. That's what it says on here. And so I'll do a more in-depth review on that later but I really like that a lot. And then I use as another base to just to get the volume I use the Cargo Lash Activator Mascara. And this I just use after I use the blink one and this just kind of gives them something to work off of for the volume and I really like that. And then the next one is a volumizing mascara and this is the Maybelline 1x1 one one volume bleh. and this is the Maybelline 1x1 one one volume express waterproof and it looks like this and the wand for this one looks like this. I will have a review coming up on this one hopefully within the next week if you guys want to see that and I really like this one a lot it adds a lot of volume but you'll have to wait and see what else I think about it later on but it's in my favorites so it kinda gives you a hint and the final one is my lengthening mascara and this is Urban Decay Skyscraper Multi Benefit Mascara and this is just a really great lengthening mascara um, I know I use a lot of mascaras. I never said that I only used one. I use like five. Sometimes I even add another one on top of that one, the four that I use, so. But yeah, I like mascara. I really like my eyelashes to be bold and dramatic and yeah. I just think that it's pretty. Some of you guys might not like it, but that's the way I like it. So that's what I do. And the final thing is something that was in like pretty much everybody's favorites videos for January. Well, no some people's favorites videos for January and it is the Naked Palette Creepy This has gorgeous gorgeous colors in it so I really like this a lot it's been perfect for my everyday eye makeup I will be doing tutorials out of this if you guys would like I know it's kind of hard to get your hands on but just keep on trying to call your Sephora, Ulta look online, whatever. And I didn't really think that I'd like a matte eyeshadow, but I really like just to use thin all over my lid with Buck in the crease, and it just adds a little bit of color, and 
just a little bit of dimension, which I really like. And those are the two of them swatched. My fingers are shaking. Yeah. And so I've been really loving this a lot. It's great to try out different looks on, and I'm super duper happy that I got it. Okay, so the last like beauty product I have been liking is a face product, and it is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I like this a lot. It moisturizes my face, and I use it at night and in the morning, and I like it. Okay, so the last thing in my favorites video is a scent, and I have been loving it so, so much. I'll hold up my family of them. Uh... Okay, so this is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Perfume, or scent in general. I have the Mini Perfume Body Mist and the Body Lotion, and then I have the Body Gel as well. Um, and I got that in a little set with a cute little purse. And this is described as Body Lotion. Sexy Forever. Sensual lotion dresses skin in a glamorous blend of purple passion fruit, Shangri-La peony, and vanilla orchid for silky radiance and lasting Victoria's Secret bombshell scent. Lotion Copoeia Sexy Tujoise Lotion Sensuave Cuefa I can't speak French. Victoria's Secret Bombshell. Um, this smells like heaven. Okay, so I just love this scent. It's very fresh, girly, flirty, um, sexy forever. It is just a really great scent, and I think you should all go out there and smell it, because it's amazing. And that's pretty much all I can say about it, is that it is super duper amazing, and I love it so, so much. Um, so just go out there and try it. And you will fall in love. Forever. With Victoria's Secret Bombshell. Just saying. Okay, um, I just realized I had one more little thing. So, as you guys know, I am obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with nail polish. I probably have over 80. That's a lot. Um, and there was one certain, like, shade of colors that I was really loving during January. Which is weird because it's not a January color. I wasn't into that much of darks in January just because I wanted it to be summer really bad. I kept on buying tank tops and it's January. Strange? Whatever. Um, but I've been loving light pinks in general and this is my light pink wheel. Um, as you can see it's just a mix of light pinks. They look a little bit too light back like in there but I promise they're light pink. And I've just been loving having light pink on my nails. It makes me happy, and so I like it. I hope this video is quick. I'm going to edit it so that it's super duper quick so that I can get a video up soon. And I'm so, so sorry that I haven't had a video up forever, but once again, school comes first. So yeah, speaking of school, let's get back to studying. Okay, um, remember to subscribe above, comment down below, and I will see you guys later. Bye!